this technology, this saltwater-based stuff that I had no idea what it was eight years ago when we started, but it really sounds like we're saying it can address so many different issues. Um, and I have heard it said that, well, if your issue involves a cell, this will work. We just don't know when and how much you need to drink or apply the gel. Lee or Jerry, can you please address that? That it seems like that we were made to allow our bodies to heal itself, um, but it seems rather crazy, like snake oil. It's crazy. Jerry, you've told us that from the beginning. This is just nuts. Help people understand that, if you don't mind, what, either you or Lee. I know Lee, he came here to do some work. He says, I'm up. Let's go for it. <laughs> right. Three, three books about it. <laughs> well, in, in those books, you know, one of the one of the pivotal um, cell biology features, at least in the citizen, this is about awakening the doctor. The, we, we, have a, we have a natural um, healing ability um, embedded within our cells that we were designed this way that allow us to respond to stress in the environment. And, and stress in the environment means anything that's going to, you know, alter or affect the cell. You have to ask the question, how does the body even know it's in trouble? And if we get exposed to stress, I mean, we could think of emotional stress, which is very fitting with what Gloria, you know, is doing in terms of, of life coaching and using, you know, horses to help facilitate people discovering themselves and so forth. Uh, mental health, uh, emotional health, that's that's one form. Physiological stress is about oxidation in the cell. And, and at the at the most rudimentary foundational upstream you know level, uh, that's how the cell knows it's in trouble is when it becomes oxidized. And that's just the movement of electrons. Uh, Jerry spoke earlier about how we make energy in the mitochondria inside the cell. And the byproducts of that energy creation process are these redox or reduction oxidation molecules that are created natively in the body. That's the mechanism by which the body uses to activate these healing responses, these um, restorative, regenerative, renewing, reparative processes in the cell when damage occurs. And most of the disease um, happens uh, because we don't do that very well, or we become less efficient at doing that because we have less signaling efficacy or efficiency as we age. And so the, the disorders related to inflammation begin to mount up and collect and accumulate and overpower us, and we, we age faster than we biologically should be. And so what redox signaling is and what it does is that it allows our innate um, immune system, it allows our innate healing capacity to activate in ways that restore this balance in the cell and make us more resilient and more capable of responding to stress in the future. We call that stress resiliency or the ability. This isn't about... Um, always being in balance. It's about always having the ability to respond to stresses in a healthy way. And, and one thing that um, you know, we, we all know what utilities are in, in our life. You know, the, the, the cell phones that we have, um, um, the programs that are on them and the internet and, you know, gas and electricity and so forth. Those are all utilities because they're they're, they're broad in their applications and everybody uses them. In that sense, you could think of redox being the health utility in the cell. And all these other modalities that we use, whether it's you know, allopathic or naturopathic medicine or you know, mental health uh, counseling or, or relaxation strategies or nutrition, Whatever the modalities are, they play on this utility, and the utility is the backbone, and that utility is the redox signaling, and it is the same for all of us. It's the same for all mammals. It's the same for even plant chemistry. It's actually even the same for much you know, of organic chemistry. This is simply how electrons get transferred from the sun to plant biomass 
into mammals and humans, which consume them in some for form or fashion in the, in the food chain, and how we convert that uh, energy, that stored energy that we eat in the biomass, into cellular energy so that we can live and function and think and breathe and talk with each other and form these communities that we talked about. Again, it's the movement of electrons or the lack of movement in a good way of those electrons. So, you know, this, this has so many deep rabbit holes and, you know, I, I love tonight's discussion, um, th this idea of community and about communication within the community um, is the essence of what cellular communication is, whether it's emotional, mental stress or physiological stress, environmental stress, whatever it is, the utility of redox signaling allows us to be able to respond to all that and, and to natively uh, be restored um, so that that inner doctor wakes up and does the job it's supposed to be doing to keep us healthy. Exactly. You know, it's just so amazing.